Hi friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new design process to share with you. I'm so excited to share this with you and get going on my plans for my creative plans for 2021. And so this is my first design process of the year. Yeek! So excited. So I decided to create an interactive page and actually this might become a thing in my regular scrapbooking to go in my regular scrapbooks. It occurred to me while I was putting my December daily together why there has to be a difference between making our December dailies more fun and interactive and our regular scrapbooking just run-of-the-mill standard 12 by 12 pages or whatever size you scrapbook and not having anything fun and interactive in it. So I decided to remedy that and I'm putting some more interactive pages, um, inserts, just more fun things to make it a little more interesting to look at. And this is the first of those pages. So I found this file divider, not a file folder, divider in the Cricut image library. I sized it to six by 12 inches, six inches wide by 12 long. And I customize it again using the attach, using the group and attach function. All those little hearts in the background of the file are not actually part of the file. I created that myself and customized it. So when I cut it, all those little hearts are going to cut out and there's going to be spaces left, negative space where the hearts used to be. And my plan is to back paper behind that to spruce it up a little bit and make it a little more fun and not so flat. The little bow with the stars on the end also came up when I was looking for, I don't know, a little angel or something. I'm not sure what it was I was searching for in the Cricut image library, but I found it and I thought it was cute, so I added it to this side of the page. I also like to include rectangles where my photo is going to go, and this is just a tool for me so that I know where everything is going to go and it makes sense. Essentially, these are my sketches, what I do in at design space before I actually put a layout together. Because I find I sit too long and move things around and have no clear direction if I try and scrapbook. Traditionally, even using a sketch that you'd find on like Pinterest and wherever else, I really struggle with as well. So I do my own thing and it works for me and that's why I started doing this. I also decided that I was going to create, um, I was going to duplicate the divider as well and then flip it using the arrange button. The arrange button allows you to flip the image whichever way you want so you can flip it left to right or bottom to top up and down so that it works with your design and what you're trying to do. So eventually when I get this part of the page done I will duplicate just the base again and then flip it so the two loves are facing each other and then I'm going to create a separate layout um, on the back side of it. Both sides of the layout are going to be similar in that the colors are going to be the same and they're both about my cat, Miss Ava. Um, other than that, the embellishing is going to be totally different and the title as well. So this facing page is Little Angel and then the next page when I get to it or the back side of it is going to be This Is How I Roll. And then you'll see how I put that together when I get to it too. It's going to be exactly the same. I figured I would cut it twice, do a front and a back just to um, strengthen it a little bit so it's not so flimsy with just one sheet of paper when I put it in my album. It's also going to hide the pattern paper that I back it with and then it's going to end up being a sandwich in the end. I'll glue the two pieces together so you only see the pattern papers facing out from underneath it when you flip the page, the side that you want to see, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So here is the back side of the page. I'm starting to work on that now. Um, I'm going to add some florals to it and a couple of leaves and it's going to be like super simple, same as the front side of the page as well. Um, yeah, and that's, that's going to be pretty much it as far as the design goes. 
I wanted to know, as far as design process videos goes, what is your preference? Would you like to see the design process and the scrapbook process together in one video or one following the other in two separate videos? As in creating the same layout from start to total finish? Or are you okay with design videos and then a scrapbook process that's completely different than the page that I just designed? The reason I ask is because in my own personal scrapbooking, I have designed further ahead than I've actually got scrapbooking done, if that makes sense. Um, I'm just working ahead of myself, basically. And so I get the designing done because it takes a lot less time to design than to actually create. <laughs> uh, so I work ahead. Um, but I'm wondering if you're okay with that. So the design processes and the scrapbook processes are going to be totally separate and totally different from one another. Let me know what you think, because if you'd like to see the design right through the end of the creation process, um, I'm going to have to wait for a bit to get caught up in scrapbooking so that I can start fresh all over again and do the design and then the scrapbook process, if that makes any sense. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Even if you are um, neutral and you don't really care, um, I'd love to know. That'll just help me customize the videos so that they are perfect, basically. <laughs> um, at the end of this video, I do have a little snapshot of my dashboard in Cricut so you can kind of just see what I mean as far as working ahead of myself. Um, I've only scrapbooked up to a certain point but I have lots of design designs that I have created ahead of where I have stopped scrapbooking if that makes sense. Um, so let me know and you know, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and a like. Leave a comment if you drop by as well. I'd love to know uh, that you are here. And if you don't want to miss anything from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that little bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my design process and I will be back again soon with a new video. Take care, guys. I'll see you again soon.